All right, what's going on, guys? It's Jeb. Real quick, I just want to thank you guys for all the support on yesterday's video. I'm watching the Terminator gameplay right now. I was gonna, you know, try to make a video on the whole thing, but then this bombshell dropped where uh, PlayStation actually announced their whole PS5. It was kind of weird, actually. There wasn't any, like, uh, teasers or any of the other shit. Now, they just randomly tweeted early in the morning, like, hey, uh, this is a PS5 and it's coming out next year. That's it. Now, given they didn't put the picture out there or anything of this leaked dev kit, they just tweeted out a picture of the PlayStation logo and stuff, and it just said PS5 coming 2020. There's nothing on there that shows, you know, exactly what it looks like, except a couple months ago or so, I would say. Maybe less, maybe more, not entirely sure. But somebody ended up putting a picture out there that showed uh, this supposed PS5 dev kit. Charlie Intel said, Wired Magazine has stated that this leaked image of a PS5 dev kit is real, and many developers have access to it already. It's PS5 looks like a charging station for a futuristic drone. It's got little buttons on it, and the front of it says solid state drive or SSD drive. Solid state drive? Drive? I don't know. It's a dev kit, okay? Basically, a dev kit is like the early prototype-ish versions of the actual console itself. It has all the parts in it. It has all the compatibility and stuff so they can test shit. But as far as its appearance goes, it can change wildly. I think Tessie ended up putting a picture of like an old PS4 dev kit. And the thing looks like a toaster oven VCR combo that's sitting in the back of somebody's garage just waiting to be discovered by someone on Pawn Stars. They even do Pawn Stars anymore? That show where they like pawn things off and shit? I remember I used to get really, really excited for the new consoles and shit. Now here, let me just put this out of the way real quick. No offense to PS5. Now I'm not gonna turn this into an Xbox versus PlayStation fucking thing. The comment section could do whatever they want anyway, but so far, all of these consoles have failed to replicate just how fucking good the Xbox 360 actually was. I know you got all the classic consoles out there and you got the new ones coming out and everything with the PS5 and the Xbox Scarlet or whatever it's called. Their next step, the PS4 and the Xbox One have paled in comparison to the Xbox 360. Not in the sense of, you know, overall, you know, performance or anything like that. But as far as the fluidity, accessibility, the party systems, the social aspect of the 360, it just, I don't know, something about the Xbox One and the PS4 feels a lot more disconnected than the 360 did. Now, that might just be because of, you know, the signs of the times and shit like that, where everybody's just sitting in their Discord calls and shit. Just to get that out of the way, I highly doubt it will actually be a better feeling, I should say, than the Xbox 360. But, it's a new controller, new update. UI holiday 2020 launch. The new PS5 controller uses a USB type C. It's like type C for my phone, right? Yeah. PS5 controller has haptic feedback. I'm assuming haptic feedback has something to do with uh, pressure and feeling all like the sounds cool, but that sounds like something that I wouldn't be interested at all. It's kind of like the rumble packs. It'll be just like normal rumble packs, just more advanced or some shit. I don't know. Just being more accurate with how it applies its rumbles in different parts of the controller. I don't know. Maybe they can make like a, you know, a trigger or something vibrate a bit more than just the thing around your hands just shaking like that. Maybe it'll just be little buttons and stuff like that that you can change and program to different shit or depending on the game, I don't know. Regardless, I'm probably shutting that shit off. Cool design, but uh, it's, uh, practical, not really. Controller has adaptive triggers. I don't know what the fuck that means. There's a new speaker system on the controller. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. The speaker system on the PS4 controller was annoying as shit. I don't want to hear things coming out of random ass objects. Other people, maybe they'll think it's cool, but hearing randomly in the background, like I hear it on M K all the time where people are playing and I just hear their controller do that noise whenever the fatal blow becomes available. Every single time I can hear it just clink in the background every single time. It's heavier than the DualShock 4 but will be lighter than an Xbox One controller. I mean, yeah, we'll see when Scuff gets a hold of it and is able to remove all the random bullshit out and all the haptic stuff. The weight of a controller matters a lot more than you would think. There's been a couple times where I've used a regular PS4 controller, like when I was at TwitchCon, for example, I had a regular PS4 in the plate and I picked up the regular DualShock and the shit was so so heavy in comparison. And I've been using a scuff this entire time. This is an impact. It's like modeled after the 360 or whatever. Sounds like an advertisement. But like, I'm used to the lighter controller that doesn't have the rumbles in it and shit like that. With it being heavier than the DualShock and stuff like that, not really that big of a deal. I can't imagine it's much heavier. As far as titles and exclusives and all that shit, I'm sure this thing is strong as fuck, especially with a solid state being in the thing. It's probably really nice. I don't know if the PS4 does. I don't really know or care about all the like real little features of it. I mean, really, it all comes down to the game that we're playing anyway. Everything 
else is secondary. That's why a 360 was so great. The whole uh, thing was just, it felt like one. I don't know how to explain it. Whereas on PS4, when I'm just here in the menu and I just hit the middle button and it just minimizes there, it's cool and all. That's great. You can keep that feature and all. But something about it just doesn't, it doesn't feel cohesive. 360 is just unfucking mad. Modern Warfare Spec Ops trailer. I think people have been super confused as to what the fuck they meant by this whole 2020 thing. They're just talking about survival mode for it. Not the entirety of Spec Ops. People have missed that detail so fucking hard. It's still shitty, still kind of a big deal. I think a lot of people didn't even read into it at all. They just said, oh, no Spec Ops, fuck you. It's just no survival. This dev kit looks like you could make a grilled cheese in the center of it. The middle of it looks like it could just turn red and heat up like some sort of toaster. Dude, honestly, if it stays anything close to this, we might be able to make Jeff's cafes on our consoles. Shit, the PS4 gets hot enough from time to time. The regular PS4 did anyway compared to the Pro. We might be cooking eggs on this shit. Yeah, I mean, there's not much information past that point. There was just that whole wired thing and then the fact that they actually came out and, and confirming that it was actually a, a real leaked image of it. A lot of people thought it was fake when it started surfacing. But yeah, PS5 comes out like this. We're gonna have Jeff's Cafe for our first review of the console. I kind of want some eggs.